Yes, today we're going to be looking at osmosis, which is covered in the topic of transport in cells. Osmosis is for diffusion of water across a partially permeable membrane from a dilute solution, which is also a high concentration of water or a high water potential, to a concentrated solution, i.e. a low concentration of water or a low water potential. So a partially permeable membrane allows water through, but won't let larger molecules dissolved in the water pass through. Water will move to make the concentrations the same on both sides of the membrane. When there are lots of water molecules, this is a dilute solution. On one side of a partially permeable membrane, but not many on the other side, or which is a concentrated solution, water will move from the dilute to the concentrated solution. It is important to remember that water molecules will move through the membrane in both directions, but the net or overall movement of water will be from the dilute solution to a concentrated solution. So, as we just know, as we just learned, osmosis is the diffusion of water across a partially permeable membrane from a dilute solution to a concentrated solution. In the diagram, the concentration of sugar is initially higher on the right side of the membrane, so we can see here, and in, then it's in it much lower on the left. So there's more water on the left and less on the right. However, after osmosis has taken place, the water has moved across to even out the concentration. So we know that sorry, so just looking at an experiment which could look at osmosis and what is involved. An experiment is a test under controlled conditions. There are two main variables in an experiment, the independent variable and the dependent variable. The independent variable is the variable that you control. It is changed to see how the dependent variable will change. For example, in an osmosis experiment, you can change the concentration of the sugar solution each time, and this is the independent variable. The dependent variable is a variable that, that you measure as an outcome of the experiment. In an osmosis experiment, it will be the change in mass of an object being used. If we're measuring, perhaps, whether water is, being osmo is undergoing osmosis and diffusing into the object. So just to recap on what we've learned about an independent variable, we know it, that it is the variable that is controlled and changed in the experiment, not the one that you measure the outcome of. So let's just think again about what we've learned about osmosis. We know it's the diffusion of water across a partially permeable membrane, not a fully permeable membrane, from a dilute solution to a more concentrated solution. So during osmosis, we know that it's more of a dilute solution, not a concentrated solution, and that the concentrations become the same on both sides of the membrane as a result of osmosis. So let's just look at this diagram here, which again shows the process very clearly. Water is originally, it has a, the water molecules move from a very dilute solution or a solution which has a very high concentration of water molecules to a solution which has a very low concentration of water molecules, also called a concentrated solution. So to recap, in osmosis, the concentrations become the same on both sides of the membrane and water moves to where there are fewer water molecules as it's moving down a concentration gradient. So from a dilute solution to a concentrated solution, as we've just discussed. So that's everything for osmosis for now. So thank you very much for listening.